Speaking of uh, African large cats, uh, me and Jess watched uh, Black Panther today. Technically uh, acceptable. Yeah, it's <laughs> absolutely. Um, Did you cry? And, uh, I <laughs> Wait, hold on. Was there? A... Yeah, I remember you saying there's a part that people were crying at. What possibly could I they have I still created? don't want to spoil it because it's like right at the end. I still haven't watched the end yet. I'm trying to think now. Oh, it's like not worth crying at. Let me just put that. <laughs> I'm not going to bury the lead. It's not like, oh, the part where that really sad thing happened. Do you think Rob will cry on Infinity War? Absolutely not. Rob's seen all the memes already, haven't you? Uh, no. I don't seek them out, but, like, I also don't... Ah, titty butts! Um, I also don't really care about Infinity War spoilers, but well, I would prefer yeah. not to Why see Why haven't you watched it yet? Go watch don't it. Don't you dare spoil them, chat. What, what makes you see me... all the background stuff. What makes huh? me tear up in those movies is not, like, when sad things happen. Because, like, that's when I get taken out of it a little bit and I go, that's, that man is made of iron. This is ridiculous. <laughs> Where I start to tear up is when things look, like, hopeless and then one of the Avengers comes down and they play, like, the... <laughs> and I'm like, dude, this is... Yeah. This is media right here. Would you rather be made of iron or made of honor? <laughs> Definitely iron, I think. <laughs> They're honor men? There's, there's a movie called Made of Honor. Mm. All right. It stars Patrick Dempsey and I believe Catherine Heigl. <laughs> Two, it's right. a star-studded cast. <laughs> Dude, one thing I will say, though. Fucking general lady in uh, in Black Panther was yeah she's pretty bad oh, yeah, yeah, that, yeah. Was, that was awesome oh she was cool. yeah uh, I think well I think you're thinking of a Koye yeah that's the one yeah but that's also not the one I'm talking about it's the other one do you know what's funny there's a scene in Black Panther where they're in uh, Korea and they're speaking yeah. like one of the Wakandans speaks Korean to a Korean lady who then responds to her Kate yeah. told me that the Wakandan Korean was, like, perfect, and then the supposed Korean lady was, like, unintelligible. <laughs> oh, and no. then, like, <laughs> apparently, now that the game is out on, or the movie is out on Blu-ray, it's become, like, a meme in Korea that's, like, nobody knows what the fuck this lady's saying. <laughs> that's hilarious. I love that you have that background knowledge, because nobody would know that. That's great. <laughs> well, like, 90% of Marvel movies have a section in Korea now. I don't know if that's, like, a huge... Oh. overseas market for them but like avengers 2 had a big korean section and now black panther it's just like shout out to korea every yeah. time That's it's like it's just soul in new york in every movie now <laughs> all right you would think they would put it in china because china dude i'm with you yeah. for all disney markets right so i don't know that's it's true a... yeah go on. they were in busan but i digress what? oh i saw the train go there once there was a lot of zombies in that. I haven't seen it yet, but here it's very, very good. It was decent. I don't think it was very, very good. It was pretty good. I think if you go in with the intention of seeing Korean horror, you're not going to necessarily get that. Mm. With Dream. But it's cool. It's it's good. You see, you, They're saying I'm wrong. The and more okay. you say it like that, it's like... <laughs> yeah, it's good. <laughs> but I mean, like... I was like how I was talking about Moonlighter yesterday. I was like, mm. I was like, yeah, it's fine. Like it's boring, and I kind of. <laughs> but then you said it, the but... soccer game was actually more fun, even though you Dude, would recommend it less. This, yeah. So what it, what it comes <laughs> down to is that Moonlighter is like incredibly polished and gorgeous, and the audio is amazing. The animation's incredible. But as I was playing it, I was like, I just wish I was playing that absolutely garbage XCOM football game. <laughs> I played like another hour of it last night, and I was like, huh. "This is, this is horrible," and I'm having a great time. <laughs> what is Wait. XCOM football? It's soccer, but turn-based, and it's you like can. Frozen oh, Friends I zone. saw that. Yeah, is that really bad? It's not good. <laughs> <laughs> it looked all right. Yes, I think that's an, an apt description. Yeah. All right. It Fair is. Enough. It's also like it's made by U Ukrainian devs, I think. So sometimes you get emails. That are in English, but I just cannot understand them. Oh God, those were funny. I saw. Yeah. I was watching for yeah. that one. It's a weird game. No, I feel you. Oh man. Anyway, Bucky's sucks. Says uh, Adam. Wow. Oh shit! Somebody hasn't seen The Winter Soldier. 
<laughs> Someone lives outside of Texas. <laughs> I thought the Winter Soldier was Cable. I was so confused. <laughs> well, I was thinking the other day, and I actually looked up examples of this. Why are there so many superheroes that, like, originated in either Marvel or DC, and then there's, like, a complete knockoff that exists in the other one? Like, oh, yeah. Quicksilver? Like Marvel and Captain Marvel. <laughs> well, Quicksilver and The Flash <laughs> are the same dude. Is a dude who runs really fast. Here's one. Cheetah and Tigra. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Quicksilver, Silver Surfer, Colossus. Mm. Ultimate Silver 3. Mm. <laughs> Can you do better than that? No. <laughs> well, there's also uh, Namor and... Uh, Aquaman. And Aquaman. Don't get me yeah. started on Namor. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know half these fucking names. What you, it's not weird. a ripoff. What are you talking about? One of them is a half woman, half cheetah. One of them is a half woman, half tiger. You're going to tell me <laughs> that the one that came later was in DC or Marvel in the room being like, hey, this cheetah character is really taking off. Nightcrawler Beast. And who's the third blue guy? Drax. Because wow. <laughs> <laughs> they make the blue man group. Mystique. Mystique. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Tracks. <laughs> you guys are wacky. That was a good joke. I love you, though. Well, this is going to be a fun 43 seconds. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so Sal says, because comic book writers often wrote for both companies, and when they wanted to use DC characters in their Marvel stories, they would just recreate the character for their mm. own story. Yeah. I mean, that makes sense. Because, like, they're... Yeah. Um, like Daredevil, when uh, Frank Miller took it over, he'd been writing Batman for a while, and he basically just kind of turned Daredevil into Batman, um, which is cool because Daredevil's a lot cooler now than he used to be. I thought you were gonna say because oh Batman God. is a lot cooler <laughs> than Daredevil. <laughs> well, <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't <laughs> like this very much. <laughs> <laughs> Batman and Black Panther are pretty similar. Yeah, True. I can see it. Black Panther is kind of just like um, Marvel's Batman to a degree. Yeah, but he oh. runs on all fours sometimes. Batman never does that. Mm. Well, mm, in point, the yeah. car, he runs on four wheels. I'm oh. glad. Yeah, actually. <laughs> <laughs> He's got you there. I can't argue with that. Yeah, you think we're going to see another Fortnite. Batman game at E3? The, the, actually, they uh, rock... Uh, is it Rocksteady? Yeah, it's Rocksteady. Rocksteady is supposedly uh, showing their new game at, at E3, which I'm fucking hyped How sick for. would it be if it was a Black Panther game? <laughs> <laughs> that would be, would be in, That's like the NLSS curse, but maybe it's the NLSS blessing? <laughs> it can be both. <laughs> I would take a really good Deadpool game. Hmm. I, I'd be into that. Because I don't Although, think the Deadpool game that's out now is particularly good. I don't know. I think if they make, unless, like, if they make, it, 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 I think it couldn't be open world if they did an op uh, if they did a Deadpool game, and I think uh -huh. they'd want to. Because, here's the thing, if it's open world, then Deadpool is going to break the fourth wall constantly, yeah. and you're going to hear it over and oh, over you're right. that would be awful. like it's a madden commentation yeah and it would be it would be the fucking worst yeah commentation <laughs> commentation uh, commentary, commentary it might be like i'm not willing to stake my life on it but i could go 50 50. yeah it's like an yeah, interposed situation Mary but like commentary, com, motherfucker <laughs> i want to break into that room and freaking where they keep all the x-men